All right, before we jump into Earth's forecast, let's stay on the subject of space because North Carolina has a long shot the next two nights to see some auroras. And it started earlier this week when a giant solar flare or a coronal mass ejection came from the sun headed for our planet. Here's some video from NASA of that. I'm going to loop it a few times, but I want you to watch right here where my finger is. You're going to see a little explosion right there. And that energy, the particles from the sun, are coming all the way across our solar system. We'll run it through one more time. And they're going to interact with our atmosphere strongly enough where we could see some auroras here. So here's another view of how this is happening. So we get this giant solar flare comes into our atmosphere, but most of it is deflected by our magnetic shield. Some of it is going to seep around our planet to the poles where that energy is going to sneak in. And if we're lucky enough, and again, this is a long shot, we could see some auroras. Now, here's the forecast for tonight and tomorrow night. Who has a chance to see this? Now, I want to caution you. This is not going to be something like you would see in a textbook. Or it's not going to be something you would see in a movie where it's just the most amazing thing you've ever seen. But what we could see, and again, it's a long shot, is some greening in the northern sky as we head into tonight and tomorrow night. It's more likely to happen to our north, but North Carolina is included in a thin band of where it is possible to happen. And one more caveat about this. Aurora forecasts are even more skittish sometimes than snow forecasts are here in North Carolina. So I'll caution you of that, but I'll also encourage you to maybe check it out. It could be something really awesome.